Thank you. See, this uh, today's event was only placing the Aditya L1 in the precise halo orbit. So it was moving towards a high orbit, but we had to do a little bit of corrections to put it at the right place. So something like a 31 meter per second velocity has to be given cumulatively to, in, uh, to the satellite to keep it at the right uh, orientation. So basically it's a halo orbit, it's an orbit which uh, moves around L1 point with a size of 6 lakh kilometer in one direction, uh, 2 plus lakh in one, another dimension, 3, 1 lakh in 1 lakh kilometer in another dimension. So it formed like an egg. So in this new orbit, it has to be placed, it has to be very precisely put. If you don't do the correction today, it will escape from this point. Okay, okay we will not allow it to escape if it does not happen. There are some contingencies, but I am only telling mathematically it can escape. So that has been very precisely done. Ultimately, what we achieved today is exact placement based on our measurement and very correct prediction of the velocity requirement. The computer decided to cut off at the uh, accelerometer based cutoff has happened. So uh, right now it is at the, in our calculation it is at the right place. But we are going to monitor for next few hours to see whether it is at the right place. Mm -hmm. Then if it is slightly drifted we may have to do a little bit of correction. Now, and we don't expect that to happen. How important role this can play sir because as far as understanding the sun is concerned. See the scientific aspect of uh, this particular mission has already been well described. Uh, because uh, it is going to look at the solar coronal mass ejection, CME, basically using a primary instrument called the, the VELC, which is uh, developed by Indian Institute of Astrophysics. And uh, this will uh, look at the corona part of the uh, uh, sun, almost three times its diameter, yeah. uh, distance away. And uh, corroborating that, there will be other measurements, uh, which is again uh, by a payload called SUIT, which is an uh, which is going to look at the entire disk of the sun in uh, ultraviolet in various frequency bands, which is already images have been, we have already put out in the website. We also have particle measurements uh, in the, um, what is coming out of the sun by the payload called the PAPA. Then we also have X-ray measurements, which is in low energy and high energy X-ray measurement. We also have magnetometer, which looks at the space magnetic field, which is coming for because of these ejections. So it is a, and so, uh, so yeah, solar wind is essentially the particle uh, emission, which is happening. So we look at all of this in a, in a very correlated manner, which is a very unique part of this mission. This is not only a national mission, but also the international community. See, everybody is looking at it, yeah. Because uh, understanding sun is not important for India alone. It's central for the entire global. So this is what precisely after Chandrayantri landing also our Honorable Prime Minister told. Chandrayantri is for the whole of the world, not for India alone. So the solar mission Aditya L1 is also for the whole of this uh, world for all of us to understand and make use of this scientific importance. Right. So here the Im impact is on the space weather. Right. You know, space weather is more color controlled by such activities, especially the uh, behavior of the uh, sun, which affects our magnetic external fields and then it's a uh, impact more on northern latitude and southern latitude, which is more dominant in southern latitude, northern latitudes and of course southern latitude, not much in the equatorial region. So it is more dominant for areas other than India precisely to to be technically correct so that way a lot of people are interested uh, to understand this effect so we look forward to a lot of scientific outcome come in the coming days at least five years of life is guaranteed with the fuel left out in the satellite also okay. yes so prime minister has once again uh, applauded uh, you know uh, isro and you have given him a gift in this year I yeah think what next see i think his uh, vision has already been outlined very well i think all of you are aware of it uh, he, after the Chandrayaan mission, he was so upbeat about the accomplishment of uh, space agency in India, making all of us proud, making the soft landing on the moon. He said that the impact is so profound yeah. in the country as well as within the minds of the young people. So he, it is the right opportunity that he has outlined a total vision for us in the next 25 years in the Amrit Kal, which is very, very, very ambitious that we must conduct more and more exploratory missions while we do all the applications and other societally relevant things like going to moon on a regular manner. Landing on the moon by 2040 is the target given to us uh, with the human being and bring them back safely, of course. Then uh, build space stations in a systematic manner from 2028, the first unit should go up. And 2035, we must have an operational space station where people can go and stay and work. This is second goal. So Chandrayaan mission should continue if it has to happen like that. So we are working on various missions to moon how to bring samples or how to do robotic exploration, how to do go around the moon and come back with people. You know, all of this we'll have to plan in a sequential manner. We also have to do scientific missions to Venus, maybe to Mars again, maybe to land on Mars. So all of this we have to do. So it looks like a, our hand 
full. Also your, uh, no, SpaceX is a different thing. It's a commercial activity. It's not a, an activity which I mentioned here. NSIL is a commercial arm. They have a satellite to be launched. So they looked at what is the best commercial way to possible to launch. Huh? Yeah. You are talking about SpaceX or SpaceX? SpaceX. SpaceX, SpaceX I, am, I told the same thing only. So they have entered into a contract for launching the, the GSAT-20 now, which is Savior satellite. We cannot launch. So that is a different activity. Okay. So Gaganyaan will be the most uh, crucial thing? No, as I already told last uh, Exposat launch also, I was uh, telling that Gaganyaan in year 2024 is a Gaganyaan preparatory year. And 25 okay. is a Gaganyaan launch year. Okay. So let the preparatory year be filled with a lot of activity for Gaganyaan. We have to launch at least two unmanned missions. We have to do two test flight missions. We have to do pad about test, helicopter dot test. Lot of developments have to happen, including environmental control, life support system qualifications. So this is that means that your hands are full at various centers. Uh, Shankaran is preparing at URC the uh, the um, uh, pop, the very critical part of the first unit of the service module, okay. and more numbers have to come. And the Naran and team is working on ECLSS and various propulsion capability for service module, crew module. Lot of tests uh, done in the last years, I think probably would have already read in our website. And very happy to say that most of the tests are getting completed. Yesterday also there was a test in LPSC on the cryogenic engine to demonstrate its high reliability for Gaganyan very successfully. Many things we are not announcing. Hundreds of tests are happening. Huh? So, so much ahead of time. Uh, much, uh, yeah. How was the mood today, you know, when this was happening? Uh, we, was it it is celebration time reality. for us. It is celebration time for us. <laughs> but uh, when you celebrate, uh, we have equally a moment of work also. <laughs> Anxious moments. That is out of our textbook <laughs> now. complex <laughs> 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 <
ये मिशन के बाद प्रधानमंत्री आपने वो आपने आपने वो देखा हुआ उनका ट्वीट उसके ट्वीट में हमको कंग्रेचुलेट किया है हमको ये ही आदेश दिया है कि हम जो आउटलाइन है तो विशन तो आउटलाइन है उसके कर लीजिए पूरा सपोर्ट देने के हम हमारे साथ ही रहते हैं आज तो उन्हें हमको उनको होना ही चाहिए था पर फिर उनके बहुत बढ़िया काम और और भी है इसी नहीं है स्पेस का भी नहीं है सो इसलिए हमने जो आशीर्वाद दो दिया है हमको इतने बहुत खुश हुआ इसी के हमने चांद हो गया सूर्य हो गया अगला क्या सब और और कई ग्रह ना <laughs> हमको वीनस है मार्स है जुपिटर है नेपट्यून है प्लूटो है प्लूटो अभी भी है या नहीं <laughs> हम जो जाएंगे हम तो एक प्लानट बनाएंगे हम लोग एक स्पेस स्टेशन बनाता हूँ ये स्पेस स्टेशन हो हमारा प्लानट तो हम कभी जा, जाके हमारा इंस्ट्रूमेंट शुरू हो चुका है हमें अनाउंस करेंगे कैसे होते हैं कैसे ड्रॉइंग होते है ये सभी लोग इसमें ही जुड़ा है चंद्रन है देश राम नारायण है उसके प्रोपल्शन के बारे में चर्चा हो रही है ये तो रिव्यू अगले हफ्ते एक एक हफ्ते में हो रहे थे होते रहते हैं थैंक यू